Hey, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. This week on Pro Tips, we're going to cover the steps to properly prepare your pond for the cold New Jersey winter. So our pond season is coming to a close and winter is fast approaching. What that means for us is warm jackets, hot chocolate, and sitting by a fire. What does that mean for our backyard ponds and the fish that live in them? Getting your pond ready for the winter is something that should really begin in the fall. Switching over to a high quality cold water fish food when the water temperatures drop below 65 is really important for the health of your fish going into the colder winter months. Having a pond thermometer is a great tool for any pond owner. It's going to indicate when to switch types of food, when you can stop feeding in the fall, as well as when to start feeding again in the springtime. Generally, you want to stop feeding your fish once the water temperature is consistently below 50 degrees. At that point, the fish won't be able to properly process the food and it will remain undigested in their stomachs, possibly causing problems during the winter months. Hopefully, you put a net over your pond for the fall months to keep heavy leaf debris out of the bottom of the pond. This is important because the buildup of organic debris in the bottom of the pond will eventually turn into sludge and provide a great habitat for parasites and other unwanted pond pests. If you have a large amount of organic debris that is still in the pond, you want to try and get as much of it removed as possible. Possibly doing a pond cleaning during the fall might be necessary if there is an excess of debris left in the bottom of the pond. You're going to want to start your winterizing by removing your leaf net and stowing all of your materials properly for the winter. Leaving the net on during the winter months is not a good idea because it will not support the heavy snow load and will most likely damage your netting material. Now you can cut back all of your hardy marginal aquatic plants to the proper height and remove any tropicals so they do not rot in the pond over the winter. We recommend shutting down your waterfall for the winter and installing some aeration for the fish. Running your waterfall during the winter can be beautiful, but it also requires care and diligence on your part. Cold temperatures can bring ice damming in the waterfall or stream, forcing water over the edge and out of the pond. If you're not going to have time to constantly check on the operation of your waterfall, we would recommend shutting down your waterfall pump and installing aeration for your fish. If you have a skimmer system in your pond, remove the check valve and skimmer components from the skimmer unit, clean them off, and store them for the winter. You can also remove the filter material from your Biofalls filter, clean that off as well, and store it for the winter. Now you can install the bubbler pump or subsurface aeration in the pond, keeping it off the bottom of the pond approximately 10 to 12 inches, and also supplement with a floating de-icer to make sure a hole is going to be kept open in the ice for gas exchange. Adding a dark pond dye during the winter months is a good idea to help protect your fish from predators. It will make it difficult for any predators to see into the pond where your fish will be laying dormant for the winter. If you live in northern New Jersey and need help with pond winterizing or any other pond maintenance services, please visit our website, atlantiswatergardens.com. Click on the Contact Us link and simply fill out your information along with a few pictures of your water feature and we'll be happy to give you a call to see how we can help. If you take the time to winterize your pond properly, your efforts will pay off in the spring with a healthier pond and healthier fish. As well as you can, when you can, uh... Happy to give you the call. Ah! Oh. I can't even read off a sheet of paper. <laughs> <laughs>